assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be taking you guys along with me to morocco which i'm super excited about you guys really enjoyed the vlog that i posted of bali and malaysia so i'm gonna try doing that with this vlog as well i'm gonna try giving you guys as much information as possible because a lot of you emailed me telling me how much it helped you guys plan your trip so i'll be sharing a lot more details this time because i know a lot of you had questions in regards to where i stayed and what parts did i visit so i'm going to include that in this vlog this time okay guys so we're packed and ready to go i'm just going to quickly show you guys what i'm wearing and then we're going to head out so the hat that i'm wearing is from queen fur the scarf that i'm wearing is from my chiffon collection the jacket is from modernisa and this like track set that's like in a camel color is from shein my shoes are the white converse and i absolutely love them because they're super comfy and the bag that I'm going to be carrying is from Teddy Blake, which I am absolutely obsessed over right now. And yeah. So after 12 very long hours of traveling, we're finally in Marrakesh and we're super jet lag um we didn't even want to like go out but we don't want to take a nap because that's just gonna screw up our routine and our view is so pretty it looks like this it's very different from what we're used to so the hotel that we're staying at is called the hotel almas and i absolutely love it their employees are super professional and kind and i will leave all their information down in the description because uh, I can't say enough good things about them i know that in my previous videos you guys were asking me where i was staying and all that so i will provide all that information in these vlogs so that um you guys have that information we're just gonna head out to mina mall which is really close to this hotel we can even walk it but i'm not sure if we're up for it because we're so tired and my husband's just praying and then once he's done we're gonna head out It's day two in Morocco and we just had our breakfast and we decided to go up to the terrace and the view is amazing. I can't wait to show you guys. It's still pretty early. It's 7 a.m. So you just go up these stairs. Look at that view. It's stunning. We're just waiting for the sunrise. It's still pretty dark because it's like 7 a.m. We woke up pretty early because of jet lag we woke up at 5 a.m. and we just got ready and then we had breakfast oh yeah we're just taking it all in this view is so nice also we got sim cards for our phones which is super handy we have data well at least I have data and then he has um, the whole plan where he can call people in Morocco and everything they're very inexpensive to be honest We first started our venture with the beautiful Bahia Palace which was built in the 19th century and we later found out that the name means brilliance. We then made our way to the Badi Palace which is in a walkable distance of a Bahia Palace and the Badi Palace is even older than the Bahia Palace and it's from the 15th century. Third stop was the Kutubiya Mosque, which was the largest mosque in Marrakesh. Mm -hmm. 
This place was called Jema El Fana, which is the main square in Marrakesh, mostly for tourists and locals to shop and have street food. We finally got to try tagine and couscous here, which is a must when you're visiting Morocco. Day three in Marrakesh. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's. It's yeah. cold. <laughs> Is it cold when we go? Day three in Marrakesh, and we're in the middle of nowhere. Just kidding. We're actually getting ready to get onto our hot air balloon, and it's super cold. That's why I'm wearing like my fluffy jacket, and I'm super excited. This is our first time on like a hot air balloon, so it should be really fun. For those of you wondering how we booked our hot air balloon ride, because it was a little confusing, we actually booked it through our hotel because it was cheaper through the hotel than it was to buy it online. I would highly recommend it even though we were thousands of meters off the ground, there was something so soothing and relaxing about the experience. The first thing that you notice is how quiet it is up there and it is just unreal. We then went to La Mominia, which was a palace, but it is now turned into a hotel. This area is usually closed and the guy was super nice and he opened it up for us so we got some really nice shots here and the place is so gorgeous I think it was like a palace or something and yeah it's like super stunning I wish we kind of stayed here like a night or two hey guys so today we actually checked in to our final hotel which is actually a Riyadh so it's called Darwan Riyadh and it's kind of sketchy getting in to the place because there's like a lot of alleys and then you need to like know your directions in order to get there so I contacted the owner um, his name is Jean and uh, I contacted him and he was super nice to send somebody to get us once you get inside you're like stunned at how amazing it looks it's like extremely beautiful and this is just the terrace I'm like recording up here because my husband's praying downstairs and I didn't want to disturb him and yeah we actually dropped off our luggage in the morning even though it was before um, our check-in time but he was super nice to allow us to drop our luggage in the morning and then we went to Marjorelle Gardens and then we went to like a cafe and then the market and then we came back to like rest and we're gonna go back to like the market because I want to get some stuff for like the house and a couple souvenirs for like the family and everything and yeah i haven't done an outfit of the day so i'm just gonna go through it real quick so my hijab is the mocha cotton hijab from my cotton collection and then this top is like a high low dress and it's from modernisa i'm just wearing like these black tights nothing too fancy just something really basic and then these shoes are from steve madden so i'm just gonna sit here and update you guys on the trip so far it's been so nice like the people here are super nice and i just love it here the weather is so beautiful although it's like it kind of fluctuates um it gets like super hot and then super cold um, yesterday was so cold. I was freezing. I was literally shivering. But yeah, yesterday was a bit of a fail. We tried to um, Guru Shapshawen, which is like the blue city here. It's absolutely stunning. I really wanted to go. He actually wanted to go way more than I did. But we tried taking the train. Um, we actually ended up getting to Casablanca. It's like two and a half hour train ride from Marrakesh. Casablanca, we were supposed to take a train to um, uh, Tangerine and then Tangerine to um, Shepshawan. But <laughs> we got to uh, Casablanca and then uh, we realized there was a two hour wait for the next train to uh, Tangerine. 
and we felt like it was not worth it because although we were two and a half hours into our um, journey we were like it's not worth us waiting two more hours and adding that two hours travel time into our itinerary because we don't have that much time here in Morocco because today's the second last no the third last day that we're gonna be here so it was not worth it for us to um, travel that far I'm kind of bummed about it but then again um, we actually made it work we have like a bunch of things planned for tonight and tomorrow so I'm super excited about that and I can't wait to share my itinerary with you guys so it helps you guys um, decide what you guys want to do as well if you guys do decide to uh, visit Morocco which I highly recommend because it's absolutely gorgeous the people are super nice and yeah that's about it um, I'm gonna take you guys along with me to the bazaar we're gonna head out soon Later that day, we booked a dinner and show which was called Shiz Ali. Personally, we weren't huge on this because we actually like doing activities rather than watching shows. But if you like to relax and attend dinners and shows, then this excursion is perfect for you. <laughs> Day 6 was something we both were looking forward to eagerly. We booked ourselves a driver through the hotel to take us through the Atlas Mountains to the city of Urzazad. The journey was a long one. It took us about 4 hours to get there. If you're a fan of the show Game of Thrones, then this scenery probably looks familiar to you because some of the scenes were shot here. On our way back, we stopped at a local market that sold dinosaur fossils that were found in the Sahara Desert and we picked up a few souvenirs from here. Now that it's our last day, I finally have the guts to go up these stairs. Wow, this is so nice. So we're packed and ready to go. I'm so sad that we have to leave this place. It was more than what we expected and honestly our stay here was so beautiful and so surreal. Every corner of Morocco had like some kind of beauty 
and it was just so nice to have the opportunity to visit this place I hope you guys have that opportunity as well I tried my best to capture as much as possible and to give you guys the information as much as possible I'm so sad that I have to leave today I wish we stayed longer so currently we're just heading to the airport and we will be staying in Paris for a couple of days so I will be vlogging that as well I hope this vlog helps you guys well that's about it for today's video guys I hope you guys enjoyed watching it don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on your notifications so you're notified every time I upload a video until my next video assalamualaikum